Hey everyone, Brian Marino here with Apex Software and in today's video I want to go over how to use photometrics to get a building footprint then how you can use that footprint to help you in sketching that particular building. Um, the example I'm going to give today was actually a call I got a couple of weeks ago where a user called in and he was kind of frustrated that he couldn't figure out the angles of the building and he couldn't get it correct. Um, so I looked up the address for him. I pulled it up on Google Maps and I did pretty much what I'm going to do here to help him figure out how to complete that sketch and get it drawn correctly. Um, so to get started, what you're going to do, whatever address you're drawing, you can use Google Maps or whatever other aerial imagery software you have. Uh, look up the address and I use the snipping tool. So I went ahead and took a snip of the sketch I want to create here. So you see this is a pretty complex sketch. There's a lot of angles in it. Um, and so I'm going to use this to kind of show you all how to do it. Um, once you uh, snip the sketch, if you're using the snipping tool in Windows, it will automatically put it on your clipboard. Um, so all you have to do when you come into Apex, just right click and paste. And it will paste that image right into the background of the drawing port. I'm going to go ahead and turn my uh, grid off so it will make it a little easier to see what we're working with here. So here's the image we're going to use to create our sketch from. So the first thing we need to do is set the scale. Um, so I know the bottom part of the garage here is 29 feet from one side to the other. So I'm going to use that as reference and I'm also going to square the garage up so that the garage is straight up and down on my screen which is going to make it a lot easier for us to draw this sketch. Um, so to get started setting the scale I'm going to come to the Photometrics tab and I'm going to click on the Set Scale button here. Okay, and when I do that, I'll get a cursor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and trace from this corner down to this corner. All right, and I like using my keyboard keys, so I'm just using the left, right, up, down arrow keys. And if you need to get more precise, you can hold shift, and it'll move in smaller increments. Um, so if you're struggling to get something aligned, it's a lot easier. Use the keyboard, hold shift, and start tapping direction arrows. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and tap enter here, and right now it's 20.2. Well, I know this measurement should be 29 feet, and the way I figured that out, um, I actually went to the property and saw it. If you don't have the measurement, you can measure in Google Maps, um, or possibly you've already been to the property, and you know the distance of all the walls, but you don't know the angles, so you want to use this to get you a, a start and help you to enter in the correct measurements with the correct angles. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and type in 29. I'm going to select horizontal because I want my sketch to rotate so that that fuchsia line is horizontal on my screen. And I'm going to click OK. Alright, when I did that, we'll see the sketch now rotated. This is up and down on my screen. And this is where I can start sketching from. Um, I want to go ahead and I'm going to do set scale one more time. And I just want to confirm this is straight up and down. I'm not going to have to enter a distance and it is slightly off so I'm going to hold shift and just try to line that perfectly up with the edge of the house tap enter and I'm going to tell it to make that vertical this time and it should shift it slightly alright so that's pretty close to horizontal for us on the screen there alright so from this point we're ready to start sketching so I'm going to click on the draw area button I'm going to come down to the corner that I want to start on. I'll tap enter and this should be 29 across. So I'm just going to hold the right arrow on my keyboard and get to 29 and it lined up very well. Um, we'll go ahead and go up. And remember this isn't perfect yet. We're just getting the shape right now and then we're going to come back in after the fact and clean it up and enter the correct measurements for this. So we're just using these as reference for now. They will be adjusted. All right, I'm going to come down to this corner, tap enter, and then we'll come up. And we want to make sure everything's 90. Um, if you see the red square on the bottom left corner of that line, or it's on the right side at the bottom, um, that tells you that square. Um, another tip when you're entering this, like for example, let's say I, it's 26.9, I have it square. If you type in 30 and press enter, it'll actually adjust the wall to the number you type in. That will only work if you haven't pressed enter yet. So you can kind of drag out the angle you want, then type in the number and hit enter, and it'll adjust that wall to that. I'm going to go ahead and tap enter here, and we're going to go straight up until it switches to, switches to view. 
Um, if you draw off screen, it'll actually follow you off screen. Um, so don't worry about if that happens, you can easily adjust. Um, we'll go 50 here. So I'm going to type 50, press enter, and we're going to come to the left. Get it to 90, and we're at 29.7. I'm going to go 30 because that looks about where that wall is at. And then we're just going to go straight across for now. I'm not too worried about that bump out yet. Um, we will come back and adjust that when the time is right. So we'll go ahead and tap enter, and then we'll go left, tap enter. And then if I hold shift and hit C, it'll actually recenter and bring everything into view so that I can kind of see where I'm at. Um, I'll hold the down arrow, come down. We'll come down 24 and I'm going to tap enter. And I'm actually going to stop right here. I'm not going to draw those last two walls. Um, and the reason for that is when we adjust the walls we're going to adjust, um, we don't want a closed area because what it's going to do is it's going to keep the angle of everything you drew and it's not going to distort anything. So I'm going to go ahead and tap enter a second time, pick up my cursor, and I'm going to lighten the image a little bit so we can kind of see what we have here. All right, so here is the sketch we have drawn, so the footprint. So now we need to, let's go ahead and start entering the known measurements that we have. Um, so we'll start with this wall. This wall here is actually 36.5. So I'm going to type 36.5 and tap enter. And notice it adjusts, this wall is now 36.5 and everything kind of shifted down because it's, it's adjusting everything as I go. Another thing to pay attention to is this arrow here. The arrowhead, that's going to tell you what direction it's going to move when you make the change. So for example, we have 40.9 here. I'm going to select the wall. The arrow is pointing this way. So this wall is actually 39.4. So it's going to shorten it. So what it's going to do is all of this is going to shift this direction because this is the side it's impacting. So when I type in 39.4, tap enter, it adjusted that with 39.4. Now we're on the next wall. So we have 28.3. According to my measurements, this should be 27. So I'm going to select here, type in 27, tap enter, and it adjusted that wall. This next wall, uh, is 29.7 so I'll grab it type 29.7 tap enter and it adjusted now we have a 50 foot wall which is actually correct I have 50 foot for that wall so we're right on here all right next is 30 uh, I have 30.1 so we're one tenth off so we'll go ahead and type in 30.1 tap enter and that wall is now adjusted um, this center wall here should be let's see 11 21.5 we have 23.8 so I'm going to select this wall 21.5 enter and that wall adjusted next wall we have 45 feet it should actually be 42 so I'm going to select that wall type in 42 tap enter and that wall adjusted for me next wall coming down we have 24 I show it should actually be 26 so I'm going to select that wall, type in 26, tap enter, and now that wall is correct. All right, so now all we have is our last two walls. We just need to square this up and close it. So I'm going to come back to draw area, place my cursor on the end, and I'll just hold control and tap my right arrow. And we're at 13.3. Tap enter, and then finally I'll tap A to auto close. And now we have our footprint of our building drawn. Every measurement should be matching now. All right, so now that we have the footprint, all the measurements are correct, now we need to start carving out the garage. Um, there's actually a bump out up here we need to add in, and there's a front porch here also that we need to add in. Um, but we'll go ahead and start with the garage. So I know my garage. I'm going to go back into draw mode. And I know my garage from here, it's 31 feet up. So I'm going to do 31 up, tap Enter. And then it goes 16.5 to the right. It comes three feet down, and then it should be 12.5 to align. Yep, and we're at 12.5. So I'm going to go ahead and tap Enter, tap Enter again, and now we have our garage drawn. Uh, the next area we want to go ahead and add in, um, when I was on site, I noticed there's actually a storage building here. I can't see it because the tree's covering it. 
um, but it actually starts here. It comes 12 feet out, 26 down, and then it comes back over to this corner. So I'll go ahead and draw in that storage building. All right, so we have all of those all of those areas drawn. Uh, the next thing we need to do, we'll go ahead and add the front porch, and then we'll add to this back area the bump out here. Um, so to make that easy, I'm going to select my pointer arrow, and I'm going to select the wall in front, and I'm going to say make that horizontal. All right, and what that did is it rotated my whole sketch and made this line perfectly horizontal on the screen. So that's going to make it way easier to draw this porch. Um, so I'll come here to draw area, and we'll go 12 feet over, and tap enter, and then it comes, it comes four feet down, 18 feet across, and then it goes back up, and aligns with that point there. All right, so that's going to be our front porch area, and then we have one more area we need to draw here. So I'm going to come back to the pointer. I'm going to select this wall and I'm going to make it horizontal. All right. And then I will, now that it's horizontal, I'm going to go ahead and delete the wall and go back to draw mode. So I know from here we need to go 5.5 over and then it comes three feet up. Actually, it's four feet up. I'm sorry. And then it goes 10 and a half feet to the right. It comes back down and then we'll auto close and then A to auto close. All right, so there's our bump out there that we missed. Um, so from this point, um, I'll go ahead and center and fit the sketch to get it all into view. And I'm gonna come to the Photometrics tab and hide the image so we can see what we drew. All right, so there's the property, or there's the house that we drew. So we have our first floor, porch, garage, and storage area. So the next thing I want to do is define the pieces. So I'm going to come to Defined Area and select the first floor. We'll go ahead and pick first floor in our list and apply that. Apply. All right, next we have a garage. Select Garage, Apply. Storage. Apply. And then finally a porch. So there is the sketch. I hope everyone found this helpful. If there's any questions, uh, feel free to drop them in the comments. I'll keep an eye on that. Um, if there's another video you want to see of something specific, um, feel free to drop that in the comments as well. It could become the subject of the next video. Uh, if you found this helpful or if you know anyone that this would help, feel free to like, share, subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos in the future. Uh, otherwise, I will see you all in the next one.